And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the compound men's quarterfinal matchup number three. Two semi-finalists confirmed already here in Hermosillo. It's time to go into the second half of the draw for quarter final number three. It's time to go down to the shooting On line. Target number one. Representing India, Pratanash Chauka. On target number two. Representing Mexico, Miguel Becerra. For Mountain, for this matchup is Curtis Solution. Another special quarterfinal lineup here in Hermosillo in the compound men's division. The host nation pick, what a pick he is, the world number five, the reigning world games champion. With his world ranking so high, the host nation will be expecting a performance from Bethera, the 23 year old on home soil. Prathamesh Jalkar from India is his opponent, a stage winner from Shanghai, and he has a very relaxed feel about himself here. 10. Ferrer gets things underway and with a 10. Bernardo, this is the, one of the matches uh, that when I looked at the lineup earlier on today, I thought, I honestly can't yeah. pick this one at all. Jalkar stormed onto the scene, took a stage win. I claimed he was the, it was the making of a new superstar, but we haven't seen too much of him since. Becerra, we know, is Six. great, but that has gone into the six and you talked about the wind being a factor. Yes, that, but uh, that's too much, even even with the wind affecting, you know. Uh, I was really impre impressed with uh, Becerra's first arrow that seemed so solid, so confident, and all of a sudden, a six. It'll be hard to, to recover from that. Ten. Oh, it's so far left, isn't it? You've got to expect that there was a mistake there. A 26, and... Uh, 10, 10, big, 10, big and mistake the there for Sarah right at the beginning in his new save. Bernardo, a perfect, save. Way to start Bernardo, uh, a a perfect from Pratamesh Jankar makes it even worse. Beautiful demonstration. What a start Is there a Jankar chance now? Uh, Jankar can go well. It's a four point lead I've got now. Um, this one's going to be easy peasy. And and they square off in fact that his mind drifts away and starts and thinking about the semi final. It could happen, but it shouldn't. I mean, it shouldn't. Of course. But uh, you, you, you must have been in this position before where you've got a massive lead. I imagine it shouldn't happen, but it could quite easily. It could, um, but honestly, it just makes him, or should make it easier for him to just focus on his own thing. And uh, from what we've seen in the first thing, I think this is exactly what he's doing. He seems so chill. You said that he's just enjoying himself in general here in Mexico, and uh, shooting is no different. So an error from Bethera. Nine. One at the first, and he starts the second with a nine. Jalco has been perfect so far. Ten. Still looking very comfortable, Jalcar. And Becerra made another mistake to the left, dropping another point. Ten. You can see some, some movements twitching a little bit but back in the axe ring it's where he needs to stay until the end of this match if he wants to stand any chance of going through Ten. nine Ten, 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 and that is a perfect score. Oh, riding the wave of perfection for Pratamesh Chowkar at 20.
20 years of age, currently ranked world number 14, and securing once again success over in the People's Republic of China at the start of the season. Also, a shining in team competition over at the uh, Sumaimania Asia Cup Lake 2 uh, back in 2022, walking away with a gold medal uh, from that international He's event. really solid, really solid. To be fair enough, he's moved his a little bit towards and the left, and time. that's Indeed, where and Miguel is dropping points to the left. For Miguel Vicena of Mexico. A little bit to the left. Six yeah, well, at this level, you really zero, cannot leave any margins. Three, you got to take zero. every opportunity. And um, but I've, as you said, we've seen you know huge turnarounds today. But I'm afraid this is going to be too much for Becerra to overcome. Ten. 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 solid and confident. Jaw car. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. Oh, ten, ten, ten. And that is another perfect score. Well, talking about perfect scores, perfect starts, and perfect ways to move forward. I just did. We're kind of running out indeed of synonyms here and ways to describe the performance of Pratanesh Jaukak. 90 out of a maximum possible of 90 to boot with the, a spider on arrow number two there as well. One of the two X's he shot, one to display. 90 to 84, six points for the bottom. Yeah, me too. I, I I really would like to know. Well, moving into the fourth end now, Miguel Becerra. Me too. I really would like to know what happened with with that six that Becerra shot in the second error in the first end. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait until it's over to to hear his thoughts on that. But uh, for now, all he's got to focus on is on shooting tens. Six point difference remains as we go in to the fourth, and there was an Ten. awful lot of Bo Kondo there. Me personally, I don't like this. Too much movement after the shot to me just shows that he's not preparing the way he'd like Nine. to. And the first dropped point by Jokar. Eight. Eight from Becerra, and uh, this one Ten. has all but gone. Prasimash Jalkar just needs to keep it in the gold, and he's going into the semi-finals. And there's a little bit of frustration and anger now coming out from Miguel Becerra. I've got the feeling he doesn't want to be there anymore. No, but he's making so many sharp movements, Ten. stiff movements. Well, Jalkar finishes with a 10 now nah, after ten, dropping ten, his first point. He's on indeed extremely good and one cruise control now as he approaches the semi-finals here in Hermosillo. Will that six be playing on Becerra's mind? Zero Second zero. arrow, you saw straight away, he knew as soon as it left the arrow, uh, uh, left the bow, that it was not going anywhere. Well, but everything is still possible. It looks like it is playing. Yeah, I think so. And uh, worse than that, I think that the six wasn't, let's say. Uh, I, I think Becerra's shot just 
is now within, like, he, he doesn't really have the grip he'd like to have on his shot process tonight in general. And uh, the six wasn't just an isolated, I don't know, lack of focus thing. Like, I think he's struggling all throughout. And, uh, yeah, he really seems not to be enjoying. And um, time for end number five. Three more hours. And Becerra will want to run off the shooting line. Nine. Ten. Car looking as cool, calm, and collected as he did on draw night. They can blame him. The door opened here. Ten. Arrow number two, just clipping the ten line, the Mexican. Ten! Impressive stuff. Doesn't tell the whole story. Ten! Finishing with a ten for a 141. Five is all that's needed, but I'm pretty sure Jalco will want this in the 10. Oh, and he I does mean, indeed get it in the 10 for a 149 out of a and possible 150. He's put down a marker here. And, uh, the uh, winner of the Shanghai stage earlier on this season. He's put down the biggest score so far in the men's quarterfinal and Jauka from India progresses to the semi-finals. Great stuff from uh, the young Indian uh, confirmation there that he has progressed to the quarterfinals. But your heart goes out to your girl just there and there. Six, uh, and look at how he's stressed. He looks, he's disappointed with his own performance. And as you said, just didn't seem right. Just didn't, didn't get his money.